This morning when I woke up, it was raining pretty hard and so beautiful outside. So I drove up the mountain a little bit to see some of the fall colors and the seasons changing. I think I'm gonna jump in this river. It looks so nice. That water swim was so cold, but I did bring with me a hot coffee, so mm. it's warming my soul back up. Ooh, that feels so good. It's just honestly so nice to feel the earth kind of coming back to life with all this rain. I didn't know this actually, but apparently this area has been in a drought for the past five years, but it makes sense because we've been having awful wildfires the last summers. Recently I've been having like a very structured routine in my life, just like waking up and working and not leaving the farm for like weeks. So it feels good to do something different and just see different things, you know? It's like very inspiring. This morning I'm going to start harvesting all of the squash and pumpkin that I grew. I'm really excited because they ended up growing really well and producing so many, which is really nice because I'll be able to store them and eat them all winter. In the winter time when it's a lot harder to get to the grocery store, it's really nice to have things that don't require refrigeration and that last a really long time in storage. I don't know if any of you have ever noticed, but I've had this insulation just hanging out of the bottom of my house for like a year now. <laughs> and it's time to cover it up because I am sick of looking at it. This is simply not the right tool for this job. <laughs> But I am so determined to get this done. Oh, I'm so close to finishing. Oh, this took like an hour. <laughs> My brother Cole just got here today and he just agreed to help us lift the door into the shed which should be a very interesting situation. I really really hope it fits but it might not because I got this door after I framed the wall so we'll see. <laughs> I have a lot of random chores to get done today. The first one is I'm going to harvest some stuff from the garden and ferment it so I can preserve it for the winter time. But what was it that I was going to harvest? I found something yesterday.
I've started fermenting outside because it is such a messy job to cut this cabbage. So it's a lot nicer to just do it outside and you don't make so much of a mess, you know? I'll sometimes ferment in like gallon jars, but actually using actual fermenting containers usually will allow you to have like a better, more consistent ferment. The most important thing about fermenting is to keep the vegetables underneath the brine the whole time. What will happen is the vegetables want to float to the top and then when they are exposed to oxygen, that's when you can get molding happening. So if you have like um, fermenting crocs, they'll come with these little weights that will be placed on top of the vegetables. And basically what that'll do is it'll weigh down the vegetables and then the brine will always stay above it throughout the whole fermenting process. So I find that these tend to work just a little bit better. It gives you like a more consistent ferment. I'm drilling holes in between the ridge because I'm going to install a ridge vent to keep the house ventilated, you know? But I need to drill some holes for that, so let's see what we got going on here. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Scared. I'm scared. I woke up pretty early this morning and walked outside and it was so warm like it's probably like 70 degrees right now which is just the weirdest thing because these mornings have been like you know cold enough for a fire and now i'm like in my pajamas wandering around and it's so gorgeous this morning wow it just feels good to be in the, this like warm air again i think i'm gonna walk to the top of the mountain and watch the sunrise sunrise this morning was seriously I think one of the most beautiful I've ever seen in my life and it was weird it kind of just happened out of nowhere the clouds were so gray as the sky was getting brighter and then all of a sudden the world just turned into this like pink globe wow it was pretty amazing honestly it's beautiful oh, it's so easy to just get like caught up in our life and feel like the problems that you're having are going to be there forever but everything passes you know everything moves on if you're happy eventually that will go away and you'll be sad if you're sad eventually that will go away and you'll be happy you know everything is just in this constant state of transition i think for me it's just really important to remind myself that that nothing's permanent and to stay rather detached from, you know, the things that you have right now. It'll always change. Just being up here in the quiet just reminds me of the important things in life. And it's, it's easy to forget, really it is. It's easy for me to forget. The other day I was in the garden and I found these eggplants which I completely forgot I planted but I'm really excited about this 
because I love eggplant. The most important thing to do when cooking eggplant is you actually have to salt it. This helps it to cook better. So what I like to do is just chop it up. I'll put it into a bowl. I'll usually add about a tablespoon of salt per eggplant, which actually sounds like a lot, but you end up just rinsing it off afterwards, so it's not really that much salt. Are there any zucchinis left? I'm not sure. Oh, haha, -ha, there is. Beautiful. Look at this beauty. Oh, hi, little kitty. How's your life going? I love you so much. You are so cute. This is so yummy. I think what I need to start doing is like make lists of things I need to get done because I still have so much to do. I wonder where Logan is. I think he started staining the shed, dreaming of rain and snow and having all my work done. So I've just made a little floor cleaner here with some water, essential oils, and a little Castile soap. I feel like I really want to get the whole house really clean before the winter. Have a fresh start, you know? Sweep, sweep, the needle away, oh, sweep it all away, yeah. Got my bucket here. I'm going to chop some kindling and put it in this bucket, fill it up to the top, and then store the bucket inside the house. In the mornings when it's cold, I don't have to come out here. I can just get it out of my little bucket, so. I like to use cedar for kindling, but it actually smokes a lot, so I don't usually burn cedar for heat, but it works really well for kindling. Okay. It's time to clean the outhouse. I've been meaning to do this for a while.
it is officially time to clean out all of my summer clothes and put them into storage. This past week we were finally able to get the siding finished, which felt really, really good. I'm really excited to finish this shed because if I'm being completely honest, I do have some things of mine stored in the cabin. Just like my hobbies kind of tend to take up a lot of space. My spinning wheel is in there and my loom is in there. Also, all of Logan's music stuff is in there. So that's kind of the main reason why I'm building this shed so that I can have more space to store these things and more space to work. It'll be really easy then for my parents to move into the cabin because all my stuff will be gone, which is good. It's not a problem right now because nobody lives there, but my parents do plan on moving here this next year, which I am so excited about. Me and my whole family kind of share a common goal of living a simpler life and starting a farm. Also living in a way that allows us to all spend more time together. Our society is kind of set up in which once you kind of become an adult, you don't really ever see your parents, which is not something I've really ever resonated with. I want to be around my family my whole life, you know? And we all do have this goal, but it's just been really hard to get there. Farming isn't the most lucrative career path, so it's a little bit difficult and scary to rely on that as your main source of income. My brother's building a tiny house right now and it's actually here. He's probably gonna move into it in like the winter, maybe spring. And then once everyone's here, things will just start to progress so much quicker because there'll just be more people working. We'll all be working together on something. So I think this is all of my summer clothes. Not that many actually, just a little bag. Need to find a bag and I guess put these things away. Glad that's done. Staring at the tiny house and I just saw a white van pull up and I think I know who this is. Potentially. 